Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger and welcome back to the Mists of Pandaria beta. Today we're going to take a look at the Greenstone Village, which has just been opened up on the beta realms by Blizzard, so thank you very much for that. Uh, this was actually the second time I attempted this place, the first time it completely bugged out on us. And we couldn't get past the first stage. And apparently the way to remedy that is to make sure that when you're rescuing these NPCs, you don't take the mobs away uh, too far away from them. So don't kite them or anything. They're not too difficult. You shouldn't need to do that anyway. Uh, but there's five stages in total to this scenario. And it doesn't actually take too long despite there being five stages. I think it takes us about ten minutes here. Uh, it is a lot of fun as well. And there's some interesting mechanics which you're going to see. This first stage is pretty simple. You just have to, as I mentioned, rescue uh, the six... NPCs by killing the groups of mobs. Now, I haven't actually got any add-ons installed since I had nothing but problems when I tried that and despite the fact that I've deleted my cache and all the other folders that you can delete, I keep getting these LUA errors. Uh, I only actually get them when I'm in this scenario so I'm not sure if it's an actual game bug uh, that's present just in this dungeon or if it's just something that I'm struggling with myself. Uh, I really don't know but hopefully it's not going to be too much of a frustration for you guys to watch this. It doesn't actually happen that much to be honest. Anyway the mare which is the one we're doing now is actually resting just on top of that pillar. So that's why you didn't see that one. I didn't look up but that's where it is. And you can tell all, where all the NPCs are by the chat bubbles above their heads. One of the good things about Mr. Pandaria is that all the quest objectives uh, and dungeon objectives are a lot easier to find now. Everything has its own icon and although there was a little bit of that in Cataclysm, it's really gone to a whole, whole new level now so... Yeah, those LUA errors are really annoying but what can you do? It is beta after all. And stage 2 now which also really simple. Uh, that's one of the things that I like about these scenarios is they're very focused, they are very linear uh, but because they're so simple it just makes them a whole lot of fun really. You can just literally just jump straight into a scenario uh, for 10-15 minutes and you haven't got to worry about queuing up uh, with a tank or a healer or anything like that and it just makes things, you know, it's just something nice to chill out to really. At least that's what I've found anyway with them. This is like a little mini bus. Shouldn't cause you too much trouble, if any, to be honest. In fact, to be honest, nothing in any of these scenarios has really caused us any trouble, so... Whether there's going to be any buffs incoming, we'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, things are particularly easy, it has to be said. So this is perhaps the most interesting uh, stage in this scenario, which is recovering the barrels. And it's a little bit like any other quest, you have to recover six in order to move on. But the way you do it is by actually riding each barrel individually back to the base. And whoever rides one adds that onto the total uh, for the objectives for everybody. So it's six between all three of you. Let's get rid of this tiger. There are a couple of elite mobs around, but you don't really need to stick together for this bit. And then you just sort of run back on the barrel. It is quite fun, actually. And different as well. Which is good. It's good to see. So there we go, that's three out of six. Technically you only need to get two each, as long as everybody gets two then you're done with this. And like I said, Blizzard have only just released this scenario literally about an hour ago. Uh, it's 2am here in the UK at the time of recording this, so I'm absolutely knackered. But I thought since I got the news bulletin that this was released, I'd best record it for you guys. Hopefully if I take this one back, then 
that should be all of them. Well, if the others get one as well. One more. I'm just going to turn ever, uh, ever speech off because that is one thing that really annoys me in WoW. Is the ever speech. There he goes. Doesn't that just look awesome? <laughs> it really does. Okay, so stage four next. And despite the fact that it, there is uh, three objectives to this, it's relatively simple. And you get this new ability. Uh, the Greenstone Brew, which basically does a nice amount of AoE damage for you. Uh, it's on, a, I think, a 10 or 15 second cooldown, so you can't spam it, but it's a nice addition to your arsenal. Once you've defeated the enemies, it's just a case of clicking on the NPCs in order to get the credit for them. Nothing uh, too different there. And the last one, uh, just over here, just up north. And the final stage is, of course, a boss, as you would expect. And the map has already been implemented for this scenario. And it's one of these things. It's got about 5 million or 6 million health. Uh, but in MOP, that's not too much. It does go down quite quickly, even with only 3 of you. As you can see, it's not going to really last very long. There's nothing really in the way of tactics for the fights in these levels. It's just a case of burn them down as quickly as you can. Unless Blizzard decides to buff things uh, before release. But to be honest, I'm not really sure they're going to do that. And I think everybody gets one of these because I clicked need, but I didn't see anybody else click need or pass or greed or anything, and I still won it. Unless that's just part of the new loot features that you don't see what other people do, but that'd be a bit odd. Hmm. Bit of a bug there as well, saying I'm not in party, so when clearly I am. But to be honest, seeing as how this scenario was just released, it's gone pretty smoothly. And a little bit of fine tuning I think is needed, but that's about it. But anyway, that's the end of this scenario. I hope you've enjoyed taking this quick look at Greenstone Village. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't mind rating this video up, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Fuzzfinger, and I will see you next time.